What is Telegram Bot? Bots are third-party applications that run inside Telegram. Users can interact with bots by sending them messages, comments, and inline requests. You control your bots using HTTPS requests to bot API. To name just a few things, you could use bots to Get customized notification and news. A bot can act as a smart newspaper, sending you relevant content as soon as it's published. Integrate with other services. A bot can enrich Telegram chats with content from external services. For example, Gmail bot, GiveBot, GitHub bot. Accept payments from Telegram user. A bot can offer paid services or work as a virtual storefront. Create custom tools. A bot may provide you with alerts, weather forecasts, translations, formatting, and other services. Build single and multiplayer games. A bot can offer rich HTML5 experience from simple arcades and puzzles to 3D shooters and real-time strategy games. There is a special game bot for this purpose. Build social services. A bot could connect people looking for conversation partners based on common interests. How do bots work? At the core, Telegram bots are special accounts that do not require an additional phone number to set up. Users can interact with bots in two ways. Send messages and comments to bots by opening a chat with them or by adding them to groups. Send requests directly from the input field by typing the bot's username and query. This allows sending content from inline bots directly into any chat, group or channel. How do you create a bot? There is a bot for that. Just talk to bot father and follow a few simple steps. Once you have created a bot and received your authorization token, head down to the bot API manual and see what you can teach your bot to do. How are bots different from humans? Bots have no online status and no last seen timestamps. The interface shows the label bot instead. Bots have limited cloud storage. Older messages may be removed by the server shortly after they have been processed. Bots can't initiate conversations with users. A user must either add them to a group or send them a message first. Bot usernames always end in bot. When added to a group, bots don't receive all messages by default. Traditional chatbots can of course be taught to understand human language. But sometimes you want some more formal input from the user. And this is where custom keyboards can become extremely useful. Whenever your bot sends a message, it can pass along with a special keyboard with predefined reply options. You can check a reply keyboard mockup. Telegram apps that receive the message will display your keyboard to the user. Tapping any of buttons will immediately send the respective command. This way you can drastically simplify user interaction with your bot. There are two mutually exclusive ways of receiving updates for your bot. The get updates method on one hand and webhooks on the other. Incoming updates are stored on the server until the bot receives them, but they will not be kept longer than 24 hours. Regardless of which option you choose, you will receive JSON serialized update object as a result. The structure of update object is shown on the screen. And on this slide, you can see the difference between two approaches. So in polling method, our bot will ask Telegram for data and repeat it each time. But in webhook approach, the Telegram will send the data when it will be available. Then let's proceed with implementation.